really dark in here today. Maybe just a little bit of light. Oh, hey, look at that. Let's jump into the video. Hey guys, it's Boki here from Gigi's Fabric Shop and home of Juki Junkies. And today we're going to be doing an awesome video on the accessories that you might want to consider if you are free motion quilting or quilting on the Juki TL series. So we kind of did this video for the um, bag makers and this one's going to be applying to all the quilters out there. So we're going to break down all the accessories, um, show you the awesome free motion quilting table that they have and some notions that I always like to have by my side when I'm free motion quilting. So let's hop into it. All right. So this video is going to apply to anybody who has a Juki TL machine. If your machine starts with TL 2010, 98, 2020, TL 18, this is going to apply to you. All right. So let's start off with a couple notions that I always like to have um, by my side. These little guys are awesome. We sell this in the Gigi's Fabric Shop app. It's the store them things. It holds all your little tools right by you at all times. Um, and it's silicone in here. So it has a nice grip on everything. I always like to have a pair of tweezers when I'm pulling up my bobbin thread. Uh, these are actually our lollipop notions ones I think there might be still some available in the app um, your T screwdriver that comes with the machine is a must a good pair of curved scissors like so these are the ones from handy quilter we do sell these on the website the nice thing about these is they are curved so you can get really really close to your threads and chop them as you go a friction pen is a total must-have um, friction pens go away with heat so you can mark up your fabrics um, you know give yourself an outline and then iron it away and hide all your evidence and then this is my favorite ruler from creative grids this is a six and a half by one and a half inch this is just awesome for binding for just making sure your seam allowances are great and these are just some of the things that I like to keep by me at all times all right so let's hop into the accessories Alrighty, so these are a lot of options here for the free motion quilting. So as far as the TL2010 is what I'm working on today, uh, what you get with the 2010 is going to be the quarter inch um, free motion quilting foot, meaning that this little uh, circle here is a quarter inch and it's going to allow you to go around like your items or like if you're going around a panel, you're gonna be able to sew at a quarter inch away from that. So it's kind of great for, you know, echoing around things. Uh, um, let me let me see if I have an example here. Okay, like this. So here is something that I was just free motion quilting on. You're gonna, it's gonna allow you to free motion quilt a quarter inch away from whatever you're trying to stay around, which is really nice. So this not isn't necessarily a quarter inch, but from where the needle is, it's gonna give you that quarter inch away from the design. Okay, so this is co this comes with the TL2010, and it also comes with the TL. Um, uh, 18 and then also the 2020 um, but for everyone else it is an optional accessory now if you have the TL18 another foot that you uh, get for free motion quilting is the one fifth you see how this one is noticeably thicker than this one um, just meaning that this lets you be a fifth of an inch away it does the same thing great for echoing around items um, and it'll give you a one fifth inch stitch away from the design okay so that's really great for echoing um, this comes with the 2020 and the TL18 as well and for everyone else it's an optional accessory. Um, we're going to link all these for you guys in the description so you can purchase them directly from jukijunkies.com. So we already went over those. You got your quarter inch and you got your one fifth. All right. Then there's this really cool guy. This is going to be a echo quilting foot and it is clear and it kind of looks like a bullseye. Um, here it's going to give you a quarter inch and then this one's going to give you, I believe, actually I don't remember what the second marking is. I'd have to look it up in the little booklet, but this is basically allows you to just achieve multiple different stitch outs from the design and it's clear. So you'll be able to have a good view the entire time. Another little bonus side thing is this accessory is going to fit on the Juki J150. All these other ones will not be compatible with the J150. The only one that's compatible is this one because it has a shorter uh, design and it's made to fit that machine. But this is a really cool one too, uh, just to have good visibility as you're going. It's clear and you can achieve multiple desires of um, like stitching and echoing per se when you're going around an item, okay? Next up for all my ruler work lovers out there is we have the um, ruler foot. So this one has a very thick, um, like you see compared to this one, it's a very, very thick 
thick and that's because this one is for ruler work when you're working with a ruler um, you want to make sure that the ruler doesn't slide underneath and that you don't hit it with the needle so the purpose of this is for it to have this border edge around so you can use those rulers align it up with the sides and you can free motion quilt with it and do really precise ruler work um, this foot is optional for everybody including the echo quilting foot these are both optional for everyone okay and just so you guys know the TL machines are a high shank machine so this is going to be a high shank um, ruler foot and when you get your rulers and stuff like that you have to make sure it works for those kinds of machines all right next up we have the front open toe foot so when you attach this onto the machine it's going to be a front view like so this comes with the TL 18 it does come with the 2020 as well and for all other machines this is optional so this is just going to attach on and it's going to give you a frontal view like I have here on the machine um, you'll just be able to see as you free motion quilt next up we have the side open toe why would you want to use something like this well this guy is going to come super in handy when we talk about the free motion quilting table uh, that is an optional accessory for all the TL machines okay so this one we're going to use when I'm demoing the table for you all right uh, the table that I have on the machine right now is the table that comes with um, all the TL machines no matter what TL machine you have you got this awesome table this table is fantastic it just slides on it has the legs that fold down and collapse and it gives you a nice view and when you're free motion quilting you know you'll just put your sandwich underneath and you'll just free motion quilt this way but what about you know uh using the other table the other table is so cool i can't wait to show you guys that but before i do that i did want to talk about the option of quilting with your walking foot so along with all these free motion quilting options which we're going to do a video showing you guys how to set up your machine for free motion quilting um that'll be in another video but for right now we're just talking about accessories okay um, so this is a walking foot. This is the even feed foot that you get with all the Juki tail machines. It comes with every single one. Now you can totally quilt with a walking foot. It's not free motion quilting, but you know, if you're doing any geometric designs, anything linear, anything that you really want to stay, um, nice and straight with, and also feed properly. Cause these do have a set of feed dogs. Okay. So they are giving you extra support and pushing through those thicker and bulkier fabrics. Okay. You see those little feed dogs right there. That is what's helping feed through the material. Okay. So this is an awesome tool to have. And I do have a video uh, showing you guys how to attach this, um, to the machine as well. And I'm going to go grab have the even feed foot guide really quick to show you how you can achieve really straight linear kind of quilting with that okay alrighty so here is that even feed foot guide attachment this is an awesome attachment you do get this with the TL 18 and the 2020 so it's gonna be an optional accessory for everybody else so if you have the 2010 you definitely want to consider this if you love doing nice linear quilting this is a really cool attachment I do have another video on how this um, is put on so you guys I think we'll link that in the description for you guys so you can refer to it but this is a really awesome thing you also get this little black screw with this attachment protect this black screw with your life because if you lose it there is not a replacement I have not successfully found a replacement for this yet so this just goes in like this all right this guide is a is adjustable back here so there's a screw right here where you can move this rod actually let me see if I can loosen it up okay so you can move the rod like this okay and then there is also this right here so this can loosen and then you can move the rod this way so this is awesome for doing diagonal quilting straight line quilting anything where you want to follow the previous stitch that you did, just did so you can stay nice and clean and linear I love this guide I do a lot of straight line quilting so this is my absolute favorite thing to use and we'll link that in the description for you guys as well Alrighty, so here I just have my little quilt sandwich and if you're not sure what that really means it just means I have a layer on the top I have my layer of batting in the middle and I have my bottom so kind of like resembling a quilt okay so here I have that front open toe foot because I'm using the standard table extension table that comes with the machine and I'm going to turn on my LED light here which we're gonna link in the description for you guys um, it makes such a big difference uh, hold on it's not reading that I'm touching it because I <laughs> have my gloves on um so the led light makes such a big difference you guys we're gonna link that too for you okay I'm using my gecko gloves these are available on the website as well so these are fabulous for just having a good grip and I'll go into more detail um, when we do the next video on how to free motion quilt but these are an absolute must-have um here I have my thread okay I have my foot on so I'm just going to show you really quickly. I'm just going to pull that thread up. And this is where those tweezers come and save the day. Because you see this right here? This is the bobbin. So I'm pulling this up with the tweezers. Okay, and I could not do that with my nails. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> so there it is. Especially with gloves on too. And gloves, exactly. So I'm just going to do a couple little stitches here. Secure that. And then I'm going to 
grab my pedal and just start. So this just shows you that I have a good frontal view of what I'm doing. Okay, and I'll talk about the settings next week on how to set yourself up for successful free motion quilting. I'm actually doing a great job right now for someone who does not do this very often, but that's kind of how that works. And um, I'll show you guys the tips and tricks how to set yourself up for success in the next video. I just wanted to show you guys all the accessories that are out there because it can kind of be confusing. So next up, I'm gonna show you that side open toe foot and the awesome free motion quilting table um, that is acrylic. And we'll just jump into it. Let me show you. Okay, y'all, so now we're gonna, I just wanted to show you how I switched this out. So this is the side open toe. Okay, this one's open from the side and we're gonna use this with that acrylic free motion quilting table. All you have to do is loosen this screw, okay? And slide this guy right off. There's not really a crazy technique to this, okay? And then I'm just going to put it on, loose, like tighten it with my hand as much as possible and then go in with my screwdriver and give it a nice righty tighty. Okay. And so you see how it's open from the side. And now I'm going to show you what you have to do to work with that beautiful acrylic free motion quilting table. All right, you guys, this is that awesome free motion quilting table I was talking about. It's this really big, this, I would say this is probably after the markings, it's probably close to 30 inches wide. This allows you to turn the teal machine to face you to kind of resemble like a sit down long arm. And now you've gained all this space so you can freely free motion quilt. Uh, I know it looks kind of silly right now because I have it propped up on a bolt so I didn't have to adjust all the legs just for time saving purposes. But all these legs are adjustable so you can make it level to your table, set it up nice. And once you have it set up, you really are not gonna have to play with it very very much but it's awesome because you get this big surface it aligns perfectly with the machine and that's why this side open toe foot is going to be so important because now that the machine's turned this is technically facing me so it's a front facing foot when you turn the machine so if you get this table you're going to want to get this if you want to have that frontal view or you can use any of the other accessories that i showed um, i'm just going to clip this thread really quick and this is why these scissors are so awesome because it just gets super close and snips it right away um so really everything else would be uh, just about the same you just have to get used to the machine being on its side we're just gonna you know bring it down and let me grab my tweezers here see where my thread is oops can't get a grip on there we go all right tuck in all my threads underneath the foot Right, put my presser foot down. It just takes a little bit of getting used to now since it's on the side. All right. And then everything else is going to be the same. I don't have my gloves on right now, but you get used to it because you're gaining so much space now on the side. Okay, so it's really cool. Oh, did a big jump there. So that, this is the, the beautiful part about it is if you have a big sized quilt, you know, you're not working on something tiny, um, you're going to gain all this extra space on both sides. So you can really free motion quilt easily. And this is this is the view you're going to get. It's going to be just like this. So it's going to be really, really nice. And when you're done, you know, you can just thread cut, pr bring your presser foot up and, you know, just keep going like you were and, and get all those quilts done. And it's it's really easy and really fun. I think this is definitely a perfect investment for somebody who is free motion quilting a lot because look at all the space you've gained. The Herga already has such a beautiful um, shaved head where it's nice and skinny, has a nice tall throat. Um, and you know, you can upgrade a little bit with LED lights, your right presser feet, this table, and you can really have yourself a nice setup to mimic some of those very pricey machines um, and have it all really be in one. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. All those accessories are gonna be available to you on um, jukijunkies.com for the other little things like the store them things, um, the friction pens, the rulers, the scissors that I used in this video. Those can all be found in the Gigi's Fabric Shop app. Uh, you can either download Gigi's Fabric Shop or go to gigisfabricshop.live and check out all of our fabrics on there as well. Um, if you're ready to purchase your machine or you wanna get any accessories, thread, oil, anything like that, you guys can check out jukijunkies.com. Feel free to send us an email at sewing machines 411 with any questions that you may have make sure you like and subscribe to our channel we are posting every sunday i think it's at five right 
at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and like I said, the next video we're going to do is how to set up the TL machine for free motion quilting. So that's going to be something you guys have highly requested to us. So in the in the comments below, go ahead and let me know maybe what's your favorite free motion quilting foot that you like to use um, and some more video suggestions because we love listening to what you guys want to see so we can help you out um, always. And that's our motto here. So thank you so much. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and have a perfect rest of your day. You can also give us a call at 813-661-9000 and we'll be more than happy to help. Thanks so much. Have a great day.